Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're playing Elise. We're in a Masters MMR game. <clears throat> um, taking Dark Harvest here. Um, we're trying out the, the, the blue smite. We usually go uh, red or green, but we're going to try out that blue. I know when, when they first made that change, I was a big fan of it. Oh, it looks like we're getting cheesed here. Well, that's unfortunate. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Okay, well, it's not that bad. Um, Hecarim is way ahead, though, um, as you can see. He's already finishing a second camp here, but that's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and probably um, recamp our top side here. And then we'll look for either a level 3 gang top, because there's no flash on that Gwen. Um, or we could look for something mid, possibly. But I have to be very careful, because um, I, I, I need to be careful of ganking, because Hecarim is going to get level 3 faster, and... You know, he could definitely set up like a nice counter gank because <clears throat> he's got that, uh, that tempo lead on me. But I, I have a feeling he's probably just going to full clear, so I'm not too worried about that. I don't think there's much we can do top. Looks like she's already going to get that ward down. Mid also does not look possible. I think we'll just pad in probably full clear here. I would hate the full clear on Elise. Um... But I think it's okay, and you know, I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's really all we can do with that um, initial cheese. The nice thing is, though, it made uh, mid lane a lot easier for my run, so it looks like he's still kind of getting stomped a little bit, but that's just kind of natural. And if uh, Tristana was there on time, it could have been worse, right? So, yeah, I think they might be invading me here. I'm going to pull this over here, because Tristana is missing. He's probably in that bush ready to cheese me. Yeah, there she is. I mean, it's... It's a really good idea, I mean it is, but at this rank, people are going to know, right? Like, it, like it's very obvious, and it looks like she she might just die here. Um, she has no jump, right? Oof. Unfortunately, we didn't get that, we didn't make it there, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, she's not definitely being, she's definitely aggressive here. Ooh, we don't want to do this, fool, we don't want to do this here, because we know the Hecarim's here. Okay, we can just back off here. That I mean, that's not bad. We're actually uh, same tempo as Hecarim now. We've actually matched Hecarim's tempo because he went for that invade here. We're actually same CS even though we had that horrible start, and we'll actually be ahead of him because he's just taking the crab here. Oh my God, what's going on here? I'm coming, I'm coming. They're crazy. What are they doing? All right, I'll take a free. <laughs> I'll take some freebies. <clears throat> Alright, awesome. So we'll take the red buff here. I'm going to go ward here just in case your son tries to get... Okay, she's there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. And then um, we're going to reset and then we're going to go back to our top side, I think. One thing we could do is go is go back bot immediately, though. Um, but honestly, I mean, we have such a big lead right now. I don't really see like uh, the need to do that, you know? And, and looking at the wave here, it's going to freeze here, so it's going to be stuck there for a little bit. So I'm going to take my... I'm going to buy Sork Shoes. I'm going to get um, a Dark Seal when I can. No. There we go. Oop. There we go. Okay. And now we'll just probably path. I mean, we could go straight top here. I'm going to look straight top. Is there anything we can do here? Because if we can't find anything straight top, we're probably just going to path again for a full. Oh, that's a really insane stun. Be careful, though, bro. I wonder if she stays. I don't think she will. It's good, really good stun from Shen. Your son is walking into the river here, so I'm gonna make sure I'm not getting invaded. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Okay, there she was. She was checking that crab actually, so it was a really good timing for me to grab that. Um, so yeah, the, this is just kind of the nature of playing against Tristan, a good Tristan mid. They're just going to have permanent priority, they're going to push, and they're going to invade you. And so right now we're absorbing the pressure really nicely. You have to make sure that you're always keeping an eye on her, because she's always going to be looking to kill you. And and honestly, it's not a Rallying Soul's fault. Like, if you die to like her invades, like the invades that I didn't die to, <clears throat> right? If you weren't paying attention, I'm, I'm sure 95% of you would have died to that Tristana when you started your red buff. But that that's not a Rallying Soul's fault. I mean, there's that's just how it works. It's how the matchup works. You... You have to be able to understand that, <clears throat> you know? A Rallying Soul can't just magically make his champion have better wave clear and trade better, right? That's just not how it works. He's going to not have priority early, and you need to be aware of that. Are they starting the dragon? No. 
They're looking for a gank. They need to get out of there. Tristana's there, so I don't want to gank that. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Tristana just showed mid. Beautiful. I mean, that Shen ult, yeah, that was a Shen ult. That was massive. Nice, nice, nice. We love Shen, we love Shen. Let's go ahead and take this dragon. We can probably just solo this, no problem. If we're level 4, it's a little harder and it takes a lot longer and riskier, but level 5 on Elise, you pretty much don't have a problem soloing dragons. After the dragon nerfs though, I'm, I'm not a big, like, I'm not big on just, like, giving up a ton, right? Like, like before, like... I mean, outplayed, or...? <laughs> oh, homie got outplayed. Uh, he got outplayed! That's glorious. Wait, wait, why wouldn't we do this? No, my ball ain't backed. Wait, this is risky. I can just flash over the wall if I need to. This dragon kind of sucks anyway. But it's like a good opportunity to take it, you know? Oh, you bastard. I need help. Great, great, great. great. Yeah, the Tristan is just easy to read, you know? Please let me out. Okay, I'm good. Alright. That. Get that Ruby Crystal. And now we want to play topside just until Rift is gone. And then once there's, once we have Rift, then we just are permanently bot lane, right? Because our Jinx is really fed. But this is a Seraphine Ziggs is a high poke lane. It's it's definitely like a little tough to deal with. So, um, I mean, it looks like they have a big enough lead where they're just sh stomping them. Oh, hello. Well, you look at that. I got the Gromp and the kill. I was debating whether I should Q him to kill him or Q the Grom to, to steal it because he didn't smite it away so right away so I knew he didn't have smite. Hello greedy and it paid off. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll get the rift here and then we can just permanently be playing bot side again because you don't want to play around a Shen, right? Because the Shen is, I mean like maybe you can get a kill early or something maybe to help him like kind of bully lane but you don't want to just like be playing top side because Shen, the whole point of Shen is to, be, to go up to other lanes, you know? Oh god, come on. Man, come on. That Tristana is just like, bro, it's like she's got a map hack, man. How does she always know where I am? Every time I ever do anything, she's right there. I mean, she's just got, I mean, she's got great vision. It's just like, she's very aggressive, but like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, is that the right call? She has the right idea, but I don't know if, like, it's the right idea, you know? Like, she knows what she wants to do, but I don't know if she should be doing it. Um, but anyway, this is going, I mean, this is a fantastic game. Well, because, all because, I mean, like, like the game is a huge stomp right here, but honestly, the, the thing about League is, if, like, let's say that I wasn't super, uh, let's say I wasn't super aware of, you know, Tristana's position and what she wanted to do, and I walked over to Red and she killed me here. Well, then she kills me there, and then from there, maybe they go and kill bot lane instead of me being alive to kill their bot lane, right? And then all of a sudden, it's like, instead of 11 to 0, it's, you know, literally 0 to 11, right? Other way around, it very easily could have end up, ended up like that. <clears throat> I think we can make this gank. Nope. Okay, let's go to this crab. Dragon's up in 2 minutes, it's something we want to play for next, so... Oh my god, what's going on in the what's going on in the enemy team, brother? For they're not happy, man. That's crazy. Alright, I think we go bot and dive this guy, right? Go, go, go. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, no assist. That's fine. Oh, hello, Hecram. Um, I'm okay. One little trick uh, when you're playing Lee against Hecarim that you guys really want to take note of, when he has that E charge and he and he can and he like, you know, like locks on and he like dashes through you, you can actually dodge his damage and put his E on cooldown, right? Like if you time it right, 
he'll E through you and he'll do like, you know, it, where like he has that big burst of damage, right? Like you guys know Hecarim charges up and he does like a gazillion damage with his E and his Q and everything. You can actually dodge all of it um, if you repel at the right time. So um, try it out in like, uh, I'll try to do it this game. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you can see it in action, but um, you know, try it out if you have a friend too and you want to try it out and get like that timing right because I know Hecarim's a pretty popular champion. It's extremely useful. It's not something like that's fringe, like that Q smite thing. Like it is a very, very common thing that you're going to be doing in the matchup. So, bro, what's going on in this chat? They're going crazy over here. Let's kill this guy. I have a lot of gold. I want to buy. There's no word. We can kill her, no problem. Ah, uh, shucks. Damn. That's okay, though. Ooh, wait a second. They got a little comeback here. I was a bit forced. I didn't think there would be four people top. That was kind of crazy. Um, but I definitely should have backed sooner. So that's on me. Um, good news is, I mean, at least we trade one and we get all these turrets and plates here and we'll be able to, to take this. Okay, cool. Hecarim actually just walked here. We saw him on this ward, so we should be able to take this dragon for free. I'm just going to go ahead and give him a jungle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him a... Hold on, let me, let, me, let me stir the pot a little bit. Mid diff. I don't think we're gonna kill him. He can just hop over, so I'm not gonna drop the dragon when, like, that's not a kill, right? Ooh! Okay, that's a flash on Seraphine. Ooh. Alright, and it looks like Rift is also a minute away here. Oh my god, nice snipe! I think we can dive this. Aurelian Soul is ult. 15? Okay. We can finish pushing this wave and then we dive. Never mind. Hello. I want to. I want to kill this Trist, man. Oh yeah, he's dead. Got him. Cool. And now we um, will pad up here, and we'll take this rift on the spawn. And then we'll, again, cycle back and look to play for dragons on spawn. Ooh, I'm coming, my, I'm coming, my friend. He doesn't need me, he's full HP. Wait. I got you, bro, I got you. Oh, wait, why'd you do that? Why'd you flash? It's okay. Go back to this crab. I have time, still 10 seconds. Let's take blue real quick and then we'll go to rift. What a stomp, man, and it's all from it's all from paying attention early, I'm telling you. Autopiloting is the worst thing. If I autopilot, if you and like I'm telling you, everybody autopilots. But if I autopilot there, I die red. <clears throat> Instead of 18 to 4, it's all the way around. And Tristan is 1v9ing. Alright, um okay. Mechanics, okay. Wait. GG, good game. If you guys like this video, subscribe, like, comment. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.